Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Approaching sunspots. A group of large sunspots is emerging over the sun's southwestern limb, and with multiple dark cores larger than Earth. So far these sunspots are crackling with only minor C-class solar flares, but they appear capable of larger explosions. In fact, this could be the sunspot group that produced an extremely rare, superfast CME last week while it was still on the far side of the sun. If so, a very potent active region is moving into Earth's strike zone. Here is a view of the active regions on this SDO-304 filter. Here is the solar eruptions that's occurred in the last 24 hours, and as you can see, the activity has been ramping up as the sun progresses towards solar maximum, which is predicted to peak in the 2025. Lower left, Mercury is observed as it makes its orbit around the sun. In a few moments, the last solar eruption, recorded thus far, blasts from the sun hurling pieces of the sun out through space in Earth's direction. Being it wasn't a halo effect, it's not completely in Earth's path, but the magnetosphere will still receive the effects, the solar storms and brighter auroras in the near future. On this solar wind projection model, RCME from the 17th, can be seen heading in the direction of Earth, and even though it is slightly below Earth it should make contact by the 20th. For the lunar observers, the moon is in the waning crescent phase. Illumination, 7%. In 17 days. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you. Yeah, yeah.